All right, today we're going to talk about the differences between the Apple iPhone 11 256 gigabyte versus the Samsung Galaxy S10e with 256 gigabytes of memory. We're going to start off with the first is, of course, the iPhone 11 operates on iOS 13, while the Galaxy S10e operates on Android 9 Pi. All right, we're going to skip down to usage time. We don't have the information for the usage time for the iPhone yet, but we'll get that to you shortly. All right, internal memory. Uh, 256 gigabytes. Both of them have 256 gigabytes at this model level. The screen size, you actually get a little bit more screen size with the iPhone 11. You get 6.1 inches as opposed to 5.8 inches with the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Both models are water resistant. Alright, so that's one thing that you don't have to worry about with either one of them. They are water resistant. The front facing camera, alright, very important for those of you who like selfies out there. The iPhone 11 has a 12 megapixel front facing camera whereas the Galaxy S10e only has 10 megapixels. All right. The processor brand for Apple iPhone 11 is of course Apple while the Galaxy S10 has Qualcomm. The rear facing camera, we also have some differences here. As you can see, the rear facing camera on the iPhone 11 is 12 megapixels, and for the Galaxy S10, it is actually larger at 16 megapixels. The processor model for the Apple iPhone 11 is an A13 Bionic chip with third generation neural in engine while the Galaxy S10 is Snapdragon 855. They are both internet connectable. The series is this is the Apple iPhone 11 while this is the Samsung Galaxy S10. The iPhone works with Siri while the Galaxy works with the Bixby. Compatibility, iPhone, Assistant built-in with Siri, and of course Bixby for the Galaxy, which I just stated. They're both Bluetooth enabled. They both have NFC technology. The charging interface for the iPhone 11 is actually the Lightning, whereas the Galaxy S10 is the USB Type-C. The wireless charging standard for the iPhone is the Qi, while the Galaxy S10 is the PMA. The model family, Apple iPhone 11, and the Galaxy S10 is Samsung Galaxy S10e. <clears throat> Expandable memory. This is something that could be a concern to some of you who need a lot of memory. Um, of course, with the internal memory comes 256 gigabytes, but with the iPhone 11, there is no expandable memory. As you can see, there's zero gigabytes of exam expandable memory. Whereas the S10 has 512 gigabytes of expandable memory. They both operate on the Nano SIM. S SIM card slots. There's only a single SIM slot for both uh, phones. Features that come with the Apple iPhone and the Galaxy S10. The unlock feature is not something that Apple promotes in their products, whereas Samsung Galaxy, yes, it does have an unlocked feature. They both have text messaging, both have email, are email capable. Keyboard 
type touchscreen for both of them. Media card slot, as I said before, there is no expandable memory, so there is no slot for the Apple iPhone 11, whereas the Samsung, you have the micro SD. They both have mobile hotspot capability, built-in GPS, and sensors. The Apple iPhone 11 has accelerometer, ambient light sensor, barometer, gyro sensor, proximity sensor, whereas the Galaxy S10e has a fingerprint sensor, geomagnetic sensor, gyro sensor, hall effect sensor, heart rate sensor, iris recognition sensor, pressure sensor, proximity sensor, RGB light sensor. So there's a lot of sensors that the Galaxy S10e has over the iPhone 11. Now let's go to maximum depth of water resistance. As you know, we talked before that both phones have water resistance. But there is a slight difference with the iPhone 11. There is a 6.6 .6 feet water resistance. And for the Galaxy S10, there is a 5 feet water resistance. Standby time for the Galaxy is about 11 days. There is no indication for the iPhone 11. Both are voice activated. Both have IP rating of IP68. Mobile payment service supported. Of course, with Apple iPhone 11, the service supported is Apple Pay. Whereas Galaxy S10, the Samsung Pay is available. Both have wireless charging. Social media and messaging services. The iPhone has messages, FaceTime, and MMS while the Galaxy has SMS, MMS, large buttons, no, shock resistant, no, dust resistant, both phones are dust resistant, stylus dock, none, headphone jack, as you all know, iPhone has eliminated that option from out of their phone lineup, while Samsung continues to have a headphone jack, before you lose it, uh, it's good to know that um, Apple actually has a jack for listening to audio. It's just not the typical 3.5 millimeter jack. The display type for the Galaxy is a mold. Screen resolution. Apple has 1792 by 828, while the Galaxy has 2220 by 1080. So, as far as real estate goes, the Galaxy has toppled uh, Apple in that area. Both have touchscreen. Integrated camera, yes, for both front and back. Recording resolution, both have 4K. Frame rate, 60 frames per second. Both have a lithium-ion battery. Battery capacity for the Samsung is 3,100 milliper hours. Both have adaptive fast charging. Well, at least the Samsung does. No contract for the Apple. Yes, it does have a contract for Galaxy. Data plan required for iPhone, yes. For the Galaxy, no. Device manufacturer for Apple is Apple. Okay, for Samsung, you have Samsung. Additional hardware included. With the iPhone, you have ear pods with a lightning connector, lightning, US, lightning to USB cable, USB adapter. And for the Samsung, you have power adapter headset tuned by AKG, USB-C cable, USB-C connector, USB-C micro USB-C connector, SIM card removal tool, and a screen protector. Both have the same phone style. Both have the phone style of smartphone 
universal unlocked for the Samsung. Yes. Apple, you don't. And some of this information down here is not really important for the layperson. Uh, so I'm just going to scroll through it a little bit. Stylus is not included on either model. Of course, we already went over the dimensions and product weight. Both have a one-year warranty. All right. All right, and that's a wrap. Let me know if you have any questions.